everybody that's chatting with nobody else's auto. Today we're at a really exciting place. This place is awesome. One of my favorite places to go. We are at Pioneer Village in Minden, Nebraska. Now, Pioneer Village, that sounds like horses and wagons and things like that. It is, to begin with. This museum was put together in the 1950s by a man by the name of Harold Ward. He developed a plastic and had a big company in Chicago, but he was actually from here, Minden, Nebraska. So even after he went to Chicago and developed this big plastics company, he came back to his hometown and built this museum. If we come over here to the side, we see with their sign up here, their mission statement from Harold himself, showing man's progress from, since, since 1830. What they've got here is they've done everything since 1830. This museum has coffee grinders, toasters, appliances. They have model kitchens set up that span the generations. Now, obviously we're here because we like car stuff. So, they have cars. They have an outstanding collection of cars. Yeah, all this other stuff is cool. You can see the evolution of man and the evolution of time, but we like cars, that's why we're here. And their car collection is outstanding because it starts with the car, because the car obviously didn't start till after 1830. So they've got really, really early turn of the century stuff. And like I said, this museum was started in the 50s. 1953 was when they started putting this collection together. And they have cars up into the 70s here. The cool part about this museum is when these cars were gathered up, starting in the 50s, some of the brass era stuff was being restored, but a lot of these cars especially the some of the 30s, lots of the 40s, the 50s, 60s era stuff. These cars were gathered up when they were essentially used cars. Some of the stuff were probably bought off of used car lots and put into this museum. So it is an awesome, outstanding collection. And the amazing part about it is so many of these cars are original. They're not perfect. They're, some of them aren't real shiny. They have nicks and dings and scratches, but they were put in here when they were taken off the road, some of them, they were only 10 or 15 years old when some of them were brought in here. So it is so cool to see this stuff in as is original, untouched, preserved condition. So that's super cool. We're gonna get some videos on some of that stuff. We're gonna try to shoot a bunch of videos today. I'm gonna keep posting these over the next several weeks. If you get anywhere near Minden, Nebraska at any point in time, you have got to come here and check out this collection. It is absolutely amazing and it is outstanding, you don't want to miss it. And I don't care what kind of cars you like, there's a little bit of everything, stuff you've never even heard of. So let's head on in. We'll go on around the front here, go into the entrance, and then we'll break into the first room. And as soon as you walk in, you start seeing vehicles, which is cool. So obviously that's why we're here. That's why you're hanging out with me as to see cars. So let's get on inside, get rid of some of this road noise because we're right on a main highway here and head on into the entrance. in boom already we've got vehicles so let's stop and pay our admission and get our hand stamped thank you and let's head off over this way now where it says obviously transportation and it starts obviously horse and buggy type stuff 1800s era stuff ox cars buggies, 1840 buggies. So, and we're going to get a lot more detailed videos on this. I, so I hope to shoot a bunch of stuff today. So we're just going to take a quick walk through there and head down here to some of these cars, just so you can get an idea of what we're going to start looking at today. And remember, we're starting in the very first building. Everything in here is in chronological order, which means it starts from the early 1800s up to as new as they've got on that particular item. So obviously we're already advancing in the buggies and carriages and wagon world, just as you can see behind me as we're coming up to the cars. So as we walk through here, like I said, this collection is just amazing. There's no way to comprehend it unless you come here. And that's why when I started this video, I said, if you were anywhere near here, you have got to come to Minden, Nebraska. No questions about it. Not if, not maybe, you have got to come check out this collection. So as we get past the horses and buggies, we're getting to the turn of the century and we've got cars. And as we study this, some of this stuff, 1902 Cadillac. 
1903 Ford. Literally, we are starting at the beginning, and that's where this collection starts, hence the chronological order of things. And like I said, it's so cool because it's not just cars. There's something here for everybody. Even if the rest of your family doesn't like cars, there is going to be something cool here. Airplanes, trains, I think they've got a cable car, engines, household stuff, musical instruments, ag and farm stuff, tractors. If you're, you, whatever your interests are, there's probably something here that's going to be interesting to members of your family. So you've got to check it out. And as we come on around the side here, 1906 Ford race car. And we get into like a lot of stuff you've never even heard of. Duryea. The 1897 Milwaukee Steam Carriage. Who's ever heard of the 1897 Milwaukee Steam Carriage? I hadn't. You know, another Ford. This one's a 06, the Model N. Then, of course, you get into your Model Ts. But what's so amazing is the stuff that... I've never even heard of. You know, back at the turn of the century in the early 1900s, there were literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of car manufacturers in the United States. And this collection has a lot of that stuff in it that a lot of people have never even seen or heard of. You know, these here are all Fords, some brass era tees. We're getting into some newer tees here. Uh, but there's a Sears car, or actually a carriage. A Rio, a very early Rio, a 1905 Rio. And that's what's amazing is there's so much different stuff in here. It's just hard to comprehend. And even as we look above us, and this is something you've got to look everywhere. Look up over this way. Look at the airplanes hanging in here. And when you look straight up, we're standing underneath one. What do we have here? We have a Studebaker EMF. This one is a 1909 EMF. The 1909 brush, a chain drive brush. Well, what's this one? It's got an interesting badge on it. This is a little. It's the Little Motor Car from the Little Motor Car Company. The 1911 Little actually became Chevrolet. The Little turned into Chevrolet. That's what's so awesome about this collection. They have these little notes on the cars. There is so much history here. And the reason this history is here is because this stuff was gathered in the 50s. These were starting to get old, but these cars and this history and this information was gathered in the 50s when these were just starting to be old cars so the people that were still familiar with these cars were still around they could tell their stories they could document it with these signs so it's so cool here's an early chevrolet stanley steamer a lot of us have heard of the stanley steamer there's one right there it's 1911 maxwell Another early Chevrolet. Oh, here's an interesting little, little buggy. The Red Bug, the Red Bug Speedster. Now, what's interesting about this is this had a Smith motor wheel on it. If we take a look back here, we know this was the predecessor to a lot of motorcycles. This Smith motor wheel that had a little engine and a wheel all in one unit, this one happened to be attached to a little buggy as opposed to a bicycle, and they made kind of a miniature little car out of it. This is the type of stuff that's here, and that's why it's so cool. We'll wrap this row up, and we'll catch. We'll wrap this video up with these last couple things in this row. Like I said, so ungodly much cool stuff here. There is no way I can capture it all. They've got 350 cars here, so we're going to get you some more cool videos on some of it. And there's so much stuff to see here. There is absolutely no way to comprehend it unless you come here and plan on spending a couple days or planning on making a couple of trips. There is just too much stuff here to see. We look at the last car in this row. It's a 1907 Regal. The Regal 30 to be exact from the Regal Motor Car Company. They've got the hood open on this one. We can take a look at the engine in this car. Very unique design. Now 
And here again, they've got information about all these vehicles. Uh, this is a 1907. They said they made 8,000 cars this year. They were heavier and higher off the, off the road than to clear wagon. They had to clear wagon ruts on the country roads. Uh, bumpers and detachable rims had not yet been invented. If you wanted a top, that was $150 extra. The windshield cost extra. Tires would, less, less, would last less than 1,000 miles. So this car, when it was located, in, they located this car in 1950, and it still had a 1916 license plate on it. So just a perfect example of how these cars were found, how they were preserved, and a lot of them are just the way they were. So this car is a 1907. It was driven until about 1916, and it's been in here since 1950. The car's been here for 70 years. Well preserved. Is it a mint 100 point show car? Absolutely not. Is it a time capsule? for a different time period that we don't see today, ever? Absolutely. And that's what's so amazing about this collection. And we'll come around here and uh, we're gonna catch one more quick thing in this video, then we're gonna wrap it up and then we're gonna move to another section of cars. And uh, like I said, I'm hoping to get a lot of videos today. I hope you guys enjoy these. This place is so neat and so awesome that I wanna bring you as much as I can, but there's no way I can even put a dent in the amount of cool stuff here. The last thing I wanna catch here is the Wright Brothers fifth engine. Yes, like Wright Brothers, like airplane Wright Brothers. This was built in 1907 and was used in their early airplanes. This was the fifth engine that they built and I did some research on this last night, and I believe this was the engine that they used to take, that they took to Europe to help teach people over there to fly, if I remember correctly. So it, uh, it's a piece of history, and it's right here in Minden, Nebraska. And they've got these notes, they've got all this information with these, with these items to check them out. So like I said, and I don't care what you're into or what anybody in your family is into, lamps, they've got lamps. Toy wagons, they've got toy wagons. Regular toys, they've got regular toys. And we'll bring you a few bits and pieces on some of this other stuff as we go along. But like I said, there's no way I can even do this place justice, no matter how many videos today I can shoot. I, there's no, I can shoot enough videos in a week to do this place justice. So Pioneer Village, Minden, Nebraska, make sure you put it on your list to go to at some point in time. Do not miss it for any reason. And uh, we're gonna bring you a lot more videos today. We just scratched the surface. Remember, we just walked in the front door. We just walked in the front door and we've seen a Stanley Steamer, we've seen a Maxwell, we've seen a Rio, uh, we've seen a Regal, we've seen a 1902 Cadillac, a 1903 Ford, and we've only been in here for five minutes. That's the magnitude and the scope of how cool this place is. So. Anyway, we're going to wrap this one up. We've got a ton of stuff to look at today, lots more videos to bring you, and I'm going to try to get a bunch shot to keep posting over the next several weeks. So hang in there. I hope you enjoy them. This place is awesome. It is epic. You have got to be here. And we're going to wrap this one up and do some looking around, enjoy it a little bit ourselves as we find some more cool stuff to shoot video on. So stay tuned. There's more to come. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. If you like my channel, please subscribe. If you're on Facebook, please share it with your friends and have them jump on with us and like the page so they can hang out with us on, hang out with us on a regular basis. Thanks for watching, everybody. We're going to look for more cool stuff to shoot.